Right, welcome to another video. As you can see, this is a follow-up to the previous video, being the other anti-tank rifle, the Panzer Buxa 39. Uh, and obviously in this one, we've got the boys' AT rifle with another 100 plus uh, conquest game. Again, same as with the Panzer Buxa, um, had to use, use the uh, semi-automatic uh, glitch, like some of you guys commented. Uh, so therefore, I was therefore able to have a bit of fun and still get the 100 kill game with it. Uh, and therefore finish the challenge for getting 100 kills with all the guns in the game. Uh, so, of course, it's impossible to do without this uh, glitch. Um, it was a bit of fun to do, and it was a way to just, you know, say I have done 100 kills with this gun. Uh, so that is what we've done in this, in this uh, gameplay here today, uh, and obviously we've done it on Rotterdam. So the same as I said in my previous video with the Panzerbuchser, I've set up custom uh, controller controls, uh, for to specifically play with this gun uh, and to be able to run around the map uh, and play with this glitch easily. Uh, and obviously what I did do is I've remapped my button, two of my buttons. So I've put my fire button to R1 and I have put my reload button to R2, which means I can hold down R2 with my third finger and then fire with my, my forefinger, my second finger. Uh, and essentially, I'm going to be using my third finger just to hold down R2, the reload button, uh, the entire time while I'm running around the game. If you were to try do this glitch using the normal default, uh, you know, controller layout, you'd be holding down square the whole time, which means you won't be able to use your right thumb to obviously aim and move around with the right thumb stick. So it's therefore very important that I remapped the controller uh, controls, and this made it much, much easier to just run around and play the game as normal. It was a bit more tricky having to shoot obviously with R1 instead of R2, uh, but at the end of the day you've got you know a one-shot kill semi-automatic sniper with obviously in this one the boys AT with six bullets so you know if you miss one shot you're gonna obviously gonna get an another one. As per usual if you want to see the specializations I've set up for this uh, this gun check out the playlist on the home page or in the playlist section on the channel. I've made four videos it covers all my uh, best specializations in my opinion for every gun in the game uh, and you know you can just go and flick through that quickly if you want and check out all the specializations for all the guns or you can watch it a bit longer and listen to what I have to say and how I explain and why I've chosen uh, certain things. But as for the site, exact same reasons uh, as I said for the Panzerbuchse, we're going for the three times scope over the iron sight and the six times scope because the iron sight isn't very uh, clear and obviously it makes that magazine uh, on the on the gun block a lot more of the screen because when you have that uh, obviously that iron sight it's going to zoom into the into the gun a lot more uh, whereas here you can see once you're aimed in it's a lot off the, off the side of the screen the six times scope again for the main two maps uh, that I thought would be easiest to get the 100 kill games on being Devastation Rotterdam uh, therefore a quite close quarters in some parts uh, and as you can see from the bridge you don't need a six times scope uh, and so this is just the most versatile site uh, which is good uh, for most and all ranges. It was a little bit tricky again to target uh, and track enemies at range because you had to lead the target a bit more with the three times scope uh, as you would compare to the iron sight or the eight uh, you know the six times scope uh, but all around you know just to be good all around this is why we've gone for the three times scope. And furthermore, uh, in terms of this class setup uh, and to do the glitch, uh, I've gone for using the L1 uh, grenade slot over using the trip mines, like I said last time, uh, because the trip mines, you obviously have to find a place to, to place them down on the ground. And there's always plenty of issues you'll know from when you try to place down uh, spawn beacons uh, or trip mines where you just can't place them down even if you're placing them on, them on a flat surface. Uh, and by using the L1 tactical grenade or whatever it is, obviously you can throw it down on the ground anywhere, pick it up straight away, and this frees up you, you your slot then to be able to have the spawn beacon still, which is what I was able to use in this game to obviously keep my spawn beacon close to the center of the bridge so that I could always, after dying, respawn close to the bridge and be straight into the action and into that power position to be able to go straight into getting kills, wasting no time obviously spawning and running back to this power position which I wanted to be in. Yeah, overall the boys AT, this was still a very, very hard challenge. Uh, it took me a few days to do um, multiple 70, 80, 90 games, uh, which is very frustrating. 
Uh, and this was much more frustrating, obviously, than the Panzerbuchse. One, not only because, uh, obviously, it's got a much smaller magazine size, being six compared to the 11, which you could have, obviously, in semi-automatic mode with the Panzerbuchse. Uh, but it just it seemed like the boys' AT, you know, m more than 70%, not 70% of the time, but, uh, you know, around, you know, one in four shots that you take, it felt like I was getting hit markers with the gun even at point-blank range, and this got me killed quite a few times, uh, especially in positions where I was ready to take on and, and kill another three or four enemies consecutively that I could see on the screen. Uh, but obviously I didn't get the kills because there was just hit markers going everywhere. Uh, some of them obviously have been cut out, uh, but that was a massive uh, problem with this gun, and this is, was still very, very hard to get the 100 kill game, even having the glitch and having semi-automatic fire mode, which is why I further believe that obviously uh, it's impossible to do it without the you know the semi-automatic fire glitch, uh, and obviously have the gun in its normal state. But overall, it was just it was a very fun uh, challenge to do. Of course, I won't be using the gun again like this. Uh, it was only to do this challenge and get it out of the way because I know it's not fair on other players, and it's, I, I'd be annoyed at getting killed by it myself. Uh, so therefore, I won't use it myself. But it was very funny to see. Uh, and you, you, you saw it just a second ago, my teammate, how many people in the game on my team and on the other team were changing to use the anti-tank rifles because uh, they could see, obviously, how many kills uh, I was getting with, with the gun in the game. And obviously they thought, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for that gun as well now. <laughs> so it, it is quite funny in that way. But also, therefore, annoying because all the enemies were obviously using the AT rifles and were therefore being prone or not moving about the map, which made it harder for me to get those 100 kills because enemies obviously weren't moving into where I needed them to be to find and get those kills because I had to stay stationary myself. But yeah, there's not much else to say really. There's no need to explain how to play on Rotterdam in this case. Uh, it's quite a unique video uh, with uh, this glitched AT rifle. Um, if you do want to know how to play uh, Rotterdam with different types of guns uh, to obviously maximise your kills and go for those high kill games, there's plenty of uh, 100 kill games I've done on Rotterdam in the last few months, uh, which you can see straight away on the, on the channel. And I'll explain, obviously, the gun I'm using, how to play uh, Rotterdam, and then obviously what I was doing uh, in particular on, in, the, in that specific game that I was playing that you're watching. So just be sure to check those out. Uh, but this was just a brief overview of the boys' AT and obviously just getting the 100 kill game done. But yeah, that pretty much covers it. Um, won't say much more. There's a few minutes left, so just obviously enjoy it. Please drop a like. Uh, you know, just helps me. You know, keep motivated to keep making more and helps push the video out uh, so more people can see it. Especially on a, a game which is as dead as Battlefield these days. Uh, and obviously subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Uh, almost at 500, uh, so it'd be nice to hit that in the next month or so. Um, and yeah, we'll hopefully have all the 100 killer game videos out and finished within the next uh, month or two. So that does it, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Oh, one last thing I had to come back in and, uh, and say is you'll see uh, in the last uh, big clip in the next minute, uh, it's like a two minute clip. Um, but it's literally the last, what, 50 tickets or so, and I've got to get like 10 kills. I was panicking like mad. Um, uh, I obviously, I threw my grenade and it went in the water, so I lost it. So I ended up only having um, semi-automatic, well, I didn't have the semi-automatic fire glitch, uh, so, but I managed to make it work. Um, and then we literally get down into the last 10, 15 tickets, and I've got, what, six, seven kills, which I need to get. I managed to clutch it, uh, get the 100 kill, uh, 100th kill with obviously the, I think the last bullet in the gun, uh, and then obviously I just get like two or three kills with a pistol on top of that because I was panicking, thinking I hadn't already got it, but I had. So yeah, uh, that clip will start in like five seconds. Uh, but yeah, enjoy and see you on the next one.
needs air support. You got any thunderbugs? Your request granted. It's coming. <sighs> To give me a loyalty Cause I'm taking the world you'll see They'll be calling me, calling me They'll be calling me royalty Let's 